Hey, it's Candy. Welcome back to my channel. It's time for another full face off. This time we are going with Maybelline. And some of this stuff I already had. I already had the, um, oh my gosh, I can't even start today. I already had the foundation, the powder, the blush, eyeliner, and the mascara. So I just had to get a bronzing palette with highlight and bronzer and this cute little eyeshadow palette and this really interesting eyebrow pencil or pen so we're gonna start with foundation this is the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth normal to dry foundation I got this in the color classic ivory 120 just gonna put some on the back of my hand take my Juno and Co sponge not sponsored <laughs> I've got some dark spots that I want to cover it looks like I haven't washed my face hold on didn't realize I had remnants of yesterday's mascara still. Hadn't looked at myself in the mirror today. How sad is that? There we go. Took a shower and washed my face and everything. What the hell? Alright. Let's bounce this shit in. Actually gonna use the other end, I think. It's a little um, tanner than what I am. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so I'm going to work that down a little bit. Oh, why I'm using a makeup sponge. I prefer the... I forgot about concealer. Maybelline Age Rewind. I already had that too. Yeah, I don't know why I'm using the sponge when I prefer a brush, but... Such is life, I guess. Am I even? I feel like I didn't get any on my forehead. I also feel like I'm using a really, a, a lot of product. Yeah, this is too dark for me, or not the right undertones or something. Just leaves me looking a little orange. All right, that's done. It went on smoothly though. See if it's clinging to any dry patches or anything. I feel like it's accentuating my pores right here. I don't know why, but I'm like so aware of those pores now. All right, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, my holy grail concealer for sure. Got a hair. So for me, I go under eyes, a little on my eyelids as eyeshadow primer. And then I kind of want to cover these spots. I 
I took the day off of my real job. I don't know if I already said this to work today. So that's why we're doing makeup. Is because I'm gonna be shooting a bunch of videos today. Can you see my pile of things to do? Like, it's ridiculous. Today is um, Wednesday, and tomorrow night I'm meeting um, a girl named Beth for coffee, and then meeting my friend Brittany at the gym. And then Friday, I have to go up north, and I'm going to babysit my nephews while my sister takes a vacation for her birthday. And that is Friday night, Saturday night, and I'll be home midday Sunday, hopefully, depending on if my dad is on time or not. And then I got to go to work on Monday, so I don't have too much time. All right, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. Okay, so let me tell you something about this. I got this, and this is what it looks like. It's square, and it doesn't come off like this. And I literally spent, like, probably ten minutes trying to pry this lid off before I realized that it turned. <sighs> this is the Fair Light Powder. Oh, that picked up a lot of powder. Okay. All right. All right. I even knocked some of it off and it's still... There was a lot on there. I like this powder. I think it feels nice on the skin. And it goes on really nicely. This and the um, Cody Airspun are like... My two go to's. Putting the stuff that I've already used to the side. Alright, I think we're going to open up this brow thing. Now, this is a Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen, and I got it in deep brown. I want you guys to look at this. So, this is the tip. So it's made to draw in tiny hairs. So we're going to give it a try. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This actually really works. Can you see that? I thought this would be just a gimmick. Oh, by the way, if you hear noises, I've got my washing machine going and my coffee pot. I put this on Twitter, but I didn't have any coffee creamer, and you guys know I don't like hot coffee. But I had some dairy-free ice cream, so I just put it in my coffee cup and poured hot coffee over it. I think that's called, like, affogato? I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. But it's really good. Since this is the only brow product that I got for Maybelline, I'm going to go all the way through my brow with this. But I feel like this would be really good with like a brow filler. I don't have anything that I can use for that. Is it out of ink already? No. Maybe I'm just not pushing hard enough? It seems strange. Yeah, it still needs a brow filler, so... Yeah, that's purple. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I wonder if I have anything Maybelline that I could use. I don't think I do. It 
it worked really good at first and now not so much It worked super good at first, and now I feel like it's almost out of ink or something? I'm going to try to get some concealer on here and clean this up a little bit. Yeah, that didn't work at all. So there's my brows. They're beautiful. Best brows ever. <sighs> Thanks. I hate it. I can't leave it like this, you guys. If I'm going to do my brows, I might as well do them. So I'm going to take... A small angled brush I'm gonna go into my beauty glaze palette and use this dark brown here I'm gonna fill in my brows that's not dark enough and that's too dark <sighs> cool life is awesome guys And this is why I haven't done my brows in weeks. No, a week or so. I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of doing them. I'm tired of it being such a big deal, apparently, that half the comment section is commenting on my brows. Like, it's so crazy to me. And I feel like I bring it up way too much, so... All right, done. That's what we're doing with brows today. If it ruins the entire look, that's my fault. Well, it's all going to be my fault because it's my face and I'm the one doing the work. Oh, candy. It's like you don't even know what you're doing anymore. You take one week off from YouTube and like your whole thing goes down the friggin' drain. Alright, this is the City Mini palette in Graffiti Pop. I'm a little nervous because I don't feel like a lot of these colors go together. But we gonna give it a try. We're gonna take a blending brush or a yeah, I think it's probably a blending brush. It's the AOA Studios E128. Look at me, I'm I'm professional. I'm going to take the only matte shade, which is this or here, and I'm going to put it right here. A little bit of kick up in the pan, not too bad. Oh, never mind. That was just me tapping in. And some fallout, so that's good, I guess. Alright, I think I'm going to go in with this light purple. Again, it's sparkly, and that's 
not really okay all the time. So we're going to put the light purple all over the lid. <sighs> Fallout is real. We're going to go into the crease and above the front of the eye. <sighs> yeah, lots of kick up. <sighs> That's my washer. It's done. It's so quiet here during the day. Well, it's quiet here at night too, but... Alright, then I'm going to go into the darker purple shade. I'm going to go on the out, on the outer corner. And then up onto the brow bone. I'm going to wipe off this brush a little bit and then blend them together. All right, and then I'm going to take this blue and get a different brush. I'm going to pop this in the inner portion of my eye. <sighs> yeah, that looks cool. It's a nice color and it kind of blends nicely in with these purples, <sighs> but it's not like super bright where it's like scary <laughs> so that's kind of the eye look I'm gonna go with let's get our Maybelline Master Precise eyeliner I love the tip on this it's long I like it a lot gonna go along the lash line out. I don't know if I've discussed how I make my... what's it called? My wing? I just put the pen parallel to my face and just use the tip. It makes it so easy. I gotta make this one bigger. See? It works so well. So we're gonna go back into the palette, do some under eye. I'm gonna take the dark purple, go along the back half, or the outer half, however you want to say it because it's makeup and there are no hard fast rules. You want to use blush as eyeshadow? Do it. You want to use foundation or don't? It's up to you. It's your face. Now I'm going to take the blue and go on the inner corner and blend it into the purple. <sighs> I think that looks super cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like a lot. Then I'm going to take this pretty like champagne color pop, pop here and pop that into the inner corner. And then this one here go under my brow. Not that it matters with this shitty of a brow. But we're not talking about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> All right, time for bronzer. So I've got this Master Bronze by Face Studio Bronze and Highlight Kit. Um, does this have a color? It does not. Okay. Oh, that tape came off really easy. All right, I'm gonna use this second from the end. Get it on my Morphe slanted blush brush, and I'm just gonna bronze up my face a little bit. I kind of like to put bronzer everywhere. I think it's a nice warmness to my skin. And it makes me happy, so that's why I do it. Alright. Then we're going to take the Maybelline Fit Me blush in... I don't know. Number 15. I can't read it. Blush brush from Morphe. There we go. I like to see my blush pretty clearly. I don't know why. I just think it's pretty. Maybe it's the 80s in me. Where blush was like such a huge thing. And I didn't use blush for a long time. And again, it's all personal preference on how you want to do your makeup. It's, like I said, it's your face. Like, and I'm going to go back to the highlight palette and use the lightest one for cheek eye. Bam! Wow! In the pan, it didn't look that impressive, and I was like, oh man. And then it gets on my cheek, and it's like, boom! Love it. I also love a blinding highlight, so. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, let's go in with mascara. This is the Maybelline Great Lash. Oh, why I keep saying Maybelline. You guys know that it's Maybelline. It's a full face of Maybelline. I love this Great Lash Mascara. I think it works really well. And I like that it's a... I like this smaller container for some reason. I think it's maybe because I find the brush a little more manageable. All right. Not bad. All right, and the final touch is Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink. And I got the color Lover. If you want to be my lover. Here's the applicator. Oh, it smells nice. It's a little goopy. And for me, this color is probably, I don't know. I don't know why I chose this color. Maybe I had this color. Oops. Missed part of my bottom lip. There we go. All right. 
took a shower so my hair is still a little bit wet. There's the look. Actually, this eye makeup looks really good with my hair. I'm liking that a lot. And the lip's not too bad. Um, let's go over the products. I love the Fit Me can, um, powder. The foundation's fine. Like, it's not my number one foundation. Um, so it's fine. The powder's good. The blush I love. I really am liking this lipstick a lot. The liner is one of my favorites. It's going back in my liner box. I mixed on this brow pencil because it worked fine at first but then like the more I worked with it the less precise it got which is disappointing I'm gonna store that upside down I love the Great Lash mascara this holy grail I don't know what I did without it <laughs> like, it's so good and I like this bronzing palette. It's really nice. And that highlight was like, bam. So Maybelline gets two thumbs up from me. Um, good company, good products. We got a great look out of this. Like, I'm super digging this now. Uh, everything put together is like, hey, girl. <laughs> so I'm going to shoot some videos today. And... Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!